Hello everyone, Chris here and welcome to another episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. In this episode we will try to raid the Transcoast Logistics Building, which is pretty far away from our position, so I will just make a jump cut so that you guys won't have to be bored with the long journey. And we arrived, nice. Now before we start I want to organize my ammunition for a bit. Okay, now we can start to clear up the parking lot from zombies. Nice, that should be most of them. Let's st stop running, regenerate our stamina and start smashing the corpses. I hear that turrets are killing everything inside. I'm sure glad to be outside because I don't know if it is a turret or the Talon. Talons can be pretty annoying, in fact it's one of the most dangerous enemy. Uh, okay, the, the glass broke. I wasn't planning for that. But it's not an issue. You can just deal with them here. Nice. Now that the zombies are dealt with, we can grab all the important tools, mainly the jackhammer and acetylene torch, and let's not forget the welding mask. Acetylene torch, welding mask, acetylene fuel, I think one small and one big. Uh, yeah, one big should be good, good enough and one small. Let's... Also wear the ballistic vest because I don't think we have any protection on our torso right now. Yeah, torso protection is laughable. Ah, I forgot to grab, of course, the jackhammer. Let's start to drill in this place. Now we can dump it out, grab a acetylene torch, and cut through. Nice. The only problem is now that we have a hole here and it's not a good idea to walk through here, so instead what we can do is go here, grab our weapon with biggest amount of bash, smash the scamper, grab a plank instead and just put it over the hole. Nice, nice. And now let's switch on the flashlight. Grab our weapon. And what do we have here? I don't see anyone for now. Oh, here it is. Those casings are really concerning. Is there or is there not a Tylon right about here? I don't see any, but I see pretty much dead zombies. Yeah, there is probably a, a Tylon right about there, so we have to be careful. Let's deal with this guy. 
Nice. Is there anyone else in here? It doesn't look like it. And right about here we have the biggest danger there is. Nice. I mean, not nice. Horrible. Uh, how should we deal with this guy? We have some grenades in the car. That is one way. Hmm. Let's switch off the flashlight. But it won't help. There is too much light in here. And I don't see any light bulbs we can smash. Hmm. How should we deal with this? For now, let's just grab and grenade. We not only have grenade, but we also have a smoke bomb, I see. Which might be just what we need to deal with the pylon. But we also need a gas mask in that case. I guess I will use it as filthy gas mask. I don't want to waste time washing it. It should be fine. I don't see him anywhere. Here he is. So what we can do for now is just run over here. Wild a smoke bomb. Activate it. Throw it here. Where the gas mask. Do we have to take off the... Motorcycle helmet, activate the gas mask, and we should be fine to just quickly open the door with a grenade. Go here, activate the grenade, pick here, and throw it. Uh, where is our guy? And run away. God damn it, I don't think I managed to hit him. Let's take the carabine instead. And deal with the zombies that are coming for us. If not. I am running out of stamina, let's just quickly regenerate. So what do we have here? I have my gun. I don't see the Tylon. Oh, here he is. He's almost dead. He might just kill himself because of the flu fluid dripping. Okay, let's wait for a moment. Let's take off the gas mask. I don't need it anymore. Let's also take the sunglasses off. I don't even know why I had them. Sunglasses. Let's equip our helmet. Won't help against bullets, but it should be at least somewhat useful. And let's wait here for a minute. In fact, let's use that time to bandage our wounds. Because, yeah, I don't think there is anything on them. Nice. And how about now? We are still alive, I see. Hmm. Super dangerous to try to do anything to this guy. Let's wait another half an hour. If he's not dead after waiting so long, then he won't be dead at all. Okay, this should be long enough. 
And he is still kicking. Damn it. In fact, I think he came closer. Uh, are we coming in here? I don't think he is, but that's not ideal. Hmm. There's no other way. I have to try to shoot him. Let's try to be quick. And for here. Wait for the zombie to come. Okay, he is coming, which is concerning to say the least. But maybe we can just lure him in to come here and destroy him with another grenade. We should have one more, I think. I hope. I still... Oh, here he is. Ooh, that's super dangerous. He's right here. Okay, what do we do? I'm here. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on. It's, it's so annoying. I don't think I can throw a grenade right there because it will get me in the blast radius. But I think I will have to. Let's activate it. Throw it. And run. Okay, we should be fine. I lost some of my stuff. No, no, no. It's the loot from the zombie. Nice. We managed to avert the crisis. And as a reward, we have 17 bullets. Really not a lot. And now I have to pray that I have another grenade, because if I don't, there will be a problem. I will think of something else. There has to be another way. I know for a fact that there should be an armory one floor above the final room. So we might just try to find a grenade right there. If not, then I think I will just make a another cut while you're looking for a grenade. Okay, focus. Right now let's cut through here and deal with the Welcoming ceremony. Got them at full auto. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Dead. Nice. That's how you deal with them. That should be pretty much it when it comes to zombie security. I don't see any man hacks, so let's just close this door. Cut through here, reload our gun. And let's see what do we have here. Probably nothing too nice. Mechanical wiring, there is probably a security bot. Right about here, and a zombie. And zombie soldiers! Oh, that's pretty good, because we can try to find uh, grenades on them. But first, let's deal with this guy. Okay, he died. Uh, let's take some pain medication, because pain is starting to rise up. Let's smash this. And what do we have? Zombie Soldier 1. 
Uh, nothing interesting, unfortunately. And Zombie Soldier 2. Again, no luck. Well, what can you do? Instead, let's reload our gun. And try to see what's inside here. We have a baton, webbing belt, assault pack, combat boots, ballistic glasses, knee pads, all the good things. About here. Heavy ballistic vest. How, many, how much encumbrance is for heavy ballistic vest? I have my US ballistic vest with few magazines and this is 15 encumbrance and 22 and full. How about you? 15 and 21. Pretty much the same. Let's unload the US ballistic vest. Dump it in here and let's wear the heavy ballistic vest. Nice. Let's also take one of the magazines. Army pants. A large rucksack. Of course I will take it. Combat boots, which I will also wear. Knee pads, combat boots, army pants, large truck sack, and that's pretty much it. I don't see anything else. Have maga, that's useful. How about here? Army pants I already have. Knee pads I already have. about you? Oh, caseless ammo. In fact, quite a lot of caseless, caseless ammo, but what is this SCX? What is the SCX type? What does that mean? I don't know. Let's take it anyway. And also the Auto Magnum. It's a pistol, but it's quite useful because it fires the caseless ammo, which has more penetrating power. Let's take the load bearing vest, combat shirt. That's it. What do we have here? Tactical gloves, nice. Let's take off the leather gloves, where are the tactical gloves. Army helmet, nice. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the military gear. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like it at all. Okay, I don't see the boss. Which means that he will either be here in this place or on the upper floor, which is bad news in both cases for me, but... Hmm. Let's try to look for upstairs, what do we have here? There is a whoomp. Oh no, I think he's right there. Okay, let's take approach from the other side. Ah, uh, flashbang hack. Okay, he's self-destructed. Ah, uh, come on. Tear gas, taser and skitter belt. Damn it. I won't be able to go in here. Um, so instead, let's just try to... Maybe, do we have something we can block the, the, uh, the field of view from the red? 
I don't see anything. Okay, let's cut through. We ran out of the fuel from this small tank. Not a problem. Ooh, what the hell? Why are you here? A lead zombie bio-operator. Ah. Let's make some distance. And start shooting. Let's use the full auto on the sky. It might be too dangerous. Well, he's dead. Do you have any grenades, my... Wow, he has a lot of stuff. Ah, because he's near the zombie soldiers. Army bayonet, IFK pouch, gas mask. Uh, yeah, continue after a break. But if this guy is right here, then maybe the turret... Yeah, the turret is destroyed! Oh my god, what is this luck? Nice! Okay. You, come to me. Nice. Let's reload our magazine. We are running out of ammo for it. Let's smash you. And what do we have in here? More ammo. Which just fixed our problem. Broken to it. Something broke it. I assume it was this special elite guy. 50 BMG, which is really nice. Uh, now I just need to find the 50 BMG rifle. Explosive slug. Nothing in here. A grenade launcher. Or not. A rocket launcher. Nice. Assault rifle. Really useful. More caseless ammo. More 9mm. Even more caseless ammo. In fact, this will be my gun of choice for now on, because it's way better than the previous one that we were using. Uh, FN Scar. Which I will take, but not for now. More magazines. And I don't see any... I don't see any 50 cal rifle, which is a shame, because it's one of my favorite. Well, you can't have everything. Okay, let's start cutting. What do we have behind door number one? More 50... more uh, caseless ammo, I mean. Assault rifle, again. A caseless shotgun. Magazine. Bunch of slugs, a mod, a shotgun mod, really nice, and another magazine. And how about here? The auto magnum, which I already have, so I won't take the other, and flamethrower. Uh, I guess it's better than nothing. Flamethrower is not my favorite kind of uh, weapon, so I won't even bother taking it. Okay, and now the most important thing. Is it in here? Behind door number one we have a mech. Nice. And behind door number two. Let's regenerate stamina. Let's put the firing mod on auto. And ah, damn it. Oh, he went after the mech. That's nice, we can just now shoot him in the back. I shoot him 50 times and it's still not enough. This guy is just a tank. Ah, oh, finally. What did you drop? Gunsmith Repair Kit, really nice. And that's pretty much it.
we are now way overweight. Overburdened, I mean. UPS. And that's pretty much it. I don't care about this plutonium fuel cell. So let's also take the rocket launcher. Let's for now just dump everything in here that we don't need. Like this pistol, this gun, auto magnum shotgun, assault rifle that I'm not using right now. Okay, let's reload our gun and continue. We still have two lab areas to explore and the mutant room. And not only that, there should be other few, two armories right about in this place, one floor above. Nice, let's switch off the flashlight. Uh, it won't matter because this place is fairly lit up, but I don't see any danger right about here. Open doors! It's probably the Migos. Probably. Mad scientist Loper. What the hell is Loper? Ah, dog! That's nice. Okay, close this, close this. Kill this. Uh, close this, grab this, put it here. Nice. Oh, crap, 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 crap. One down and two down. Nice. Regenerate stamina, stop running. We are slowly running out of the ammunition, which is not ideal. And here we have the first final room, but first, let's deal with this guy. And this one as well. Damn it, he's fast. Not fast enough. Nice. Uh, zombie scientist seems to be busy. Do you have a scalpel? Nice. Unload it. And give me the scalpel. Start cutting. Ah, another dude. Okay, he's dead. Now, what do we have in here? Raptor, blue shot. Uh, nothing valuable. Which is quite annoying. A plastic box with mutagenic catalyst. Five tubes, wow! Uh, how about you? Mutagenic catalyst again, nice. Well, that was useful, but before I continue, I need to grab another gun because I am running out of bullets. And that's not a good thing to run out of. Let's take instead you. And we should be fine. Nice. Let's continue. I don't see any bots. Ah, oh, here they are. Hello, hello! One down, two down. Nice. Nice, nice. 
Uh, nothing interesting on you. About you. Still nothing. Artillery for the ancients. I guess I will take it. Nothing. Nothing. Still nothing. And nothing. No luck this time. There's a fridge, but nothing in it. A uh, bunch of zombies. I don't think if I want to deal with them, but I will have to deal with them. Ooh, what the hell. That's just unnecessary. Okay, we somehow managed to deal with them. Uh, let's reload. Before, before we go up, let's also check the other side. Oh, a shogot. Oh, interesting. Uh, syringe, ibuprofen, multivitamins. That's pretty much it. Dry cat food. <laughs> they were doing some experiments on cats. Interesting. If this guy is here, then that means that we can find plutonium slowly there. I don't even want to deal with it. Instead, what do we have here? Nothing. About here. Still nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ooh, damn it, damn it, damn it. That was it. Nice. Reload. Nice. Kill this guy. This is the plutonium room. So pretty much that's it when it comes to this part of the lab. Let's check the upstairs. Bunch of skitter bots. Uh, let's see. Lab journal. Yushan Blue. Chimera. All of the books I don't need but are rare enough. Annoying. Uh, medium battery, I guess I will take one. What about you? Morphine. Nice. A uh, bunch of dead scientists. Which means that probably some mutants got to them before I did. Nothing in here about you. Hmm, nothing. Experimental mutant is right here, but this but it's busy with something, so let's not disturb him. Instead, let's start cutting through here. Oh, what do we have? Chimera, god damn it. Uh, I'm not interested in Chimera. I guess I will take the test tubes, why not? Earth mutagen, lizard, beast, and cattle. Nothing I need. Well, you can't have all of it, I guess. Oh, damn it. Nice. Let's rejuvenate stamina. And cut through here. And we have armory. We have flamethrower, FN scar, uh, ammunition for my gun. And that's pretty much it. Really little. I 
We also have mine counter mine operations. Look. Ooh, what the hell? Where did the two guys come from? Nice. Do you have anything? Chemist to set. Nice. It's one of the things I will need to find anyway. But that's pretty much it. Let's regenerate stamina. And what do we have here? Slimes. Slimes and... Nothing important. Yeah, pretty much. How about here? Bunch of skitter bots. And even more, of course. Okay, that should be most of them. Let's reload. Uh, I don't care about this dude. Slimes in here. Plutonium in here. Uh, nothing important. Ah, oh, journal With this guy, Smythe. I don't know how to pronounce it. it sounds good to me. Uh, DOI, Compendium, Lab Journal, Smythe, and that's pretty much it. Yep. We can go back. Another lab cleared. And now we can go back, refuel our acetylene tank, because we kinda need to. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, he hit me, but I think I managed to tank it with my ballistic vest. Oh la la, that was really close. It was irresponsible of me. Let's regenerate stamina. Okay, I I am starting to loving this heavy ballistic vest. This is the probably only thing that Yeah it it has twenty-five of ballistic protection and if you fire with this gun, which I am holding right now, it's thirty-six. That pretty much saved my ass. Yeah, it was it was really dangerous. Now we have a slight problem because this place is quite dangerous. As you see, there is this drone, which means that there is a drone dispatch somewhere around here, but we should be fine to just cut through, activate the flashlight, and start blasting. Come on. Come on. Nice. Now all of them. Okay, that should be most of them. Or not. Where did you come from? Come on. Now it should be... Come on! Damn it. Okay, that's really not good. Okay, we should be safe. Oof, reload, kill this dude. And go back.
Um, this is concerning. Come on. Okay, I should be safe here. Reload. Restore the stamina. And stop the bleeding. Let's try cutting through here. And we have another one. What is it? Raptor. Uh, uh, I don't really like Raptor. It's a really annoying mutation. So instead, let's just take everything we can. Oh, Purifier. That's, I guess, nice. Let's unload those gallon jacks. Take the purifier. Uh, we also have bird, but I don't care about bird that much. And what do we have here? Zombie scientist and pretty much nothing I want. Same here, and also here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, we have a gas mask. Thin gas mask. Okay, I can't take it, because it looks like there is no place. But what I can do is wear it. Ah, I can't. Oh, I already have gas mask. What the hell? Or not? No, it is right here. Okay, so I don't need it. But what I can take is this hazmat suit, which will protect us, protect us from the skitter bots. Now they can't really attack us at all. So we should be safe to just waltz in and don't worry about anything. Nice. Do we have anything interesting? Allowing reference. Some new books. That's pretty much it. How about here? A slam pit. And right about here we have best practices for compound delivery. That's nice. How about here? A uh, rotary evaporator. It's pretty heavy, so I will probably take it when we will leave this place. Excuse me, can you move? I guess not. Plutonium slurry. And that's it. Okay, we have labs cleared out. So now we can either go upstairs, which is through here. Let's regenerate stamina. Can we open it? No, but can we take through? Yes. Before we leave, let's also take a look at this place. There is a sludge rail, which is concerning to say the least. Bestial mutant, right about there. Yeah, this guy is a problem. But I think I should be able to deal with him.
he regenerates pretty fast, but I am attacking him even faster. Ah, uh, he started running. Oh, nice, he's dead now. Okay, what the hell is this? The Shalt Mutant. Okay, with this one I won't be able to do, to do anything because he has pretty much... Whoa, what the hell is that? Okay, interesting. Artobot Mutant. Oh. Those guys are coming to beat me up, so let's just retreat. Close this door. Close this door also. Let's reload our magazines. Hello, hello. You can't open this door. Nice. Uh, I won't be able to do anything to him because he just... He's just that powerful. I can try to shoot him, but it won't damage him in, in any way. You need at least 50 cal to deal with those guys, so yeah, unfortunate. Let's restore the stamina and continue on. Mutant child. Oh, damn it. You bastard. You opened the door. I will get you for that. Let's wait, maybe he will be stupid enough to come here. Hello, hello, Mr. Child, child Mutant. Okay, it doesn't look like he is stupid enough to open this door. Okay, I will deal with him later. Now let's just continue. Okay, let's switch off the flashlight. Grab the rotary evaporator. And just try to squeeze through here. Oh, damn it. Security, security. Drop it. Get me my gun. And kill them. Okay. Let's activate the flashlight. Grab the evaporator and continue on. Nice. Okay, I think this is a good place to end this episode. I put everything I found into the car. I found quite a few important things. Basically, this ballistic vest is pretty nice. Heavy ballistic vest. Other than that, I found the caseless ammo weapon, some equipment for making mutagens, bunch of purifier, bunch of, uh, bunch of catalyst mutagens, and a bunch of books, which is quite nice. I didn't manage to find what I was looking for, which is the, of course, power armor, but I can't complain, this was a good raid. So yeah, this is Chris, and I will see you next time.